me in the car and, and the wife and the husband and the children and the money, the, the, the insurance. With everything you need, you won't say you don't need the church no more. You'll go to church as much as you went before, even more. You understand? Well, I don't have to go. I'm going to stay home and watch the TV. He will call somebody to shoot a bullet down the street or somebody else and come right to your house and plug that TV. Because you won't have no business trusting in that after God blessed you. Am I saying that? The more that God and the good health you have, you ought to run, run the church. I'm going to church now. Hey, you ain't got to go. Yes, I do. Huh? I can't use I forget where you brought me out. Do you remember what you were stuck in? Who you were stuck with? And now you're free? And maybe you ain't all the way out, but you're all walks out? And you free enough, you got your right mind? Hello, and you ain't got to fight and argue with people enough? What do you I ain't going to church? Is you a fool? Get out of my way. I'm going to church. I ain't going back where I come from. I had a taste of it. And if he had not delivered me, who knows where I, what do you mean I ain't going to church? I'm going to sit. I'm going to church if I think I'm crazy. I'm going to church if I'm sick. I'm going to church. I'm going to shut up by my gun. If I can put them to get me to put a boy on a gurney and push me down here, I'm going to church. I'm going to and thank that man. If he don't talk to me, I'm going to thank that man. Because where would I be if he didn't do for me? I'm telling you, cross the sin like a lion. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for your mercy, God. Thank you for your grace. Verse 7, for he that is dead is freed from sin. Are you dead? Yes, Lord. Are you through with your old life? If you're not through with the world, you ain't dead yet. The world can't give me nothing. I don't want his money. I don't want his women. I certainly don't want them men. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. I don't want nothing for If Jesus don't give it to me, I don't want it. When the devil gives you something that strings attached. And what's the strings for? To bind you up? So you can be there somewhere stupid, all bound up, can't move and everything. And you think about how good it was. Huh? And now you, it ain't good no more. Ain't nothing no good no more. You all. What would a man give in exchange for a soul? I ain't giving up nothing. I'm staying with Jesus. And he promised me that everybody that is Jesus would stay with me. And I ain't talking about people staying with me. I'm talking about what stay saved and be with God. And then that don't want God, it don't make no difference if it's your mother, your father, your brother, your sister, your wife, your house, or children. They don't want God. That's their choice. I choose Jesus. Jesus, my sheep will hear my voice. Albert, if they don't hear you, it's only because they don't hear me. Yes, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Did you hear the Bible says that you're freed from sin? Yes. How many of you know you're born again? How many of you asked God to save you because you knew you was a sinner and you couldn't make it and you believe that Jesus died for your sin? I'm not how many, how many, put your hand up if you did that. Then you don't have to sin no more. You stop this old garbage that them old defeated or uneducated Christians, that means uninstructed. He says you're free from sin. Now who will call him a liar? In other words, when somebody's telling you can sin or you tell yourself you have to sin, you're calling him a liar. He's telling you, I can keep you from sin. Only reason why you sin because you want to. Because you listen to this flesh and to this heart. And I got news for you. You got new feelings and new desires in this heart. And when you listen to this heart and don't give this flesh its ways, it becomes happy. happy. It becomes like a little child just waiting for daddy or mommy yes. to give it. What else you gonna do for me, daddy? Yes, yes. Huh? It don't fight you. It's only when you're curious about sin it gets all lit up. Huh? You get it re-addicted. Huh? Did you hear what I'm saying? Huh? And when your children look at other people, don't know what they're going through, look at that dead dumb smile on their face. If you don't have joy from Jesus, that's false joy. That's right. Amen. They're fooling you. They ain't happy. Nope. Uh -uh. They're happy because they are getting a feeling, but when that feeling got to leave, this feeling I got will never leave. Amen. This feeling you have will never leave. Now, if there is no sin, there's no curse. Remember, remember death and sickness 
and oppression and depression came from the curse. Adam was made like God. So was Eve. But when they disobeyed God, they opened the door and death entered into the world by sin. Huh? That's why Jesus came into the world and did not sin. Therefore, he overcame it. He was an all-wise tempted, but never gave into it. And then he went down to hell and chained the author of sin, Satan. Do you hear what I'm saying? And then he came back up and got in the body and overcame death. Death couldn't keep it. So death don't have no power over us no more unless we give ourselves to it. Sin don't have no power over us. We're here with it, but we're the rulers of it. It does not rule us. And so sin is here for them who want it, although he don't want them to have it. That's why he died, that no matter what race you are, no matter what gender you are, no matter how perverted you are, if you call on Jesus, he will renew you. And let you know this is how you are. Now, have nothing else to do with that. Because if you go back to it, it's seven times worse. How many of you want to be seven times worse than you know it used to be? I'd be scared to death to sin. You hear what I'm saying? I'd be scared to death to take a drink. Huh? I'd be scared to death to look at a woman the wrong way. Did you hear what I'm saying? Because I, mean, I don't want him to take this. Not that he would take it that immediately. But I want him to know with everything I am, God, I really want this. I understand. I'm taught about sin. I did sin. Okay, but I'm also taught about sin that I have discernment, I can identify it, so I can counsel you and witness to you and witness to everybody and tell you how to be a, do, do that and how you don't have to be afraid no more. You are freed from sin. Am I saying anything? If a boy or a girl that you didn't want come knocking at your door every day, didn't I tell you I don't want you? Now I'm trying to be nice. Please don't come back here no more. But I'm so in love with you. <laughs> what would you tell them? No. Don't come back here no more. Am I saying anything? Well, when sin comes knocking at your door, what you gonna tell them? Don't come back here no more. Don't be saying, don't come back here no more. <laughs> Jesus. Jesus. He said, I know I got this one. No, no, no. When you tell somebody something, tell them that you mean it. And I'm talking to sin. How many of you believe you're free from sin then? Okay. Well, how many of you was afraid of sin? That just tells the whole truth. Just, just, that's what you need. That's how you get free. Yeah, it was me. I was afraid of falling. Huh? I was afraid of fighting when I got saved. Because I know I couldn't hit nobody. And I was afraid they was going to make me hit them. Then I'll be messed up with God. I said, God, you got to help me. You can admit your fear so God can deliver you. And then he showed me he can keep you. You don't need nothing but Jesus. And then he'll show you what you want. Because you want things because you're looking for something to lean on. But if you lean on Jesus, you will see you don't need nothing. You just want things and he will tell you what to want. But you're free from sin. Say, I'm free from sin. The Bible says I'm free from sin. If I can't comprehend it, I'm free from sin. If I can't believe it, I'm free from sin. The Bible says I don't have to sin. Because you hear even say, everybody's sin. That shut up. Get in touch with Jesus. The Bible says you're free from sin. That's you leaving the door open or the devil leaving doubt in your spirit. Leave it cracked a little bit open for me. Don't lock the door. I'll be by then. Yeah, you, you put your foot in my door. They won't be able to put the bones back together. I'm not sinning. Amen. I told God, if you know I'm a fall cause, you know it, take it. That's right. Yes. Just take it. Yes. I ain't saying I can't sin. Amen. Come on, so I ain't saying I don't think crazy. Hallelujah. But I, I, got, I got control over my craziness. I'm not going to displease him. Amen. I love him too much, and I ain't going to cause nobody else to stumble because I love them. Amen. 
Am I saying it? But you got power. Is that what he's telling you right now? Yeah. Huh? Let me tell you something now. Tell me. Because the phrase said, tell them to stomp sin like they do a roach. Yeah. And they remember how they 